Hello everyone, it's Imaginary Doodles, and I bet you guys noticed that the quality of this video is a lot better. That's because today I got a new phone. My grandfather gave it to me. In today's video, I'm going to be using all of my yellow art supplies. I was going to use all my blue art supplies, but once I looked at my Ahuhu marker colors that were in blue, I was kind of scared to do that because the blue colors were so dark. Here is all of my yellow swatches and I just crossed out some of the colors that I thought looked too orange and I decided I was going to save them for my orange video that I'll do sometime in the future. Here's all of the art supplies. I tried to use everything yellow. I even wanted to use yellow erasers. But I don't have a yellow brush, so I kind of have to use this blue one. And I'm honestly surprised I have this many yellow art supplies. Here's all the art supplies I'm using and the swatches. And now I'm going to stop talking and get on to the drawing portion of this video. I guess I might as well talk about this since I like to say this in a, quite a bit of my videos. But this wasn't the original plan for this video. I thought it would be easier than what I was planning on doing because I was going to do the 25 essential um, expressions challenge and I knew that challenge was going to take me a little while to do. I was a little afraid to do that video because I'm not the best at doing expressions which is sort of the whole reason why I wanted to do that video is because my expressions are pretty limited and I pretty much use those different expressions on most of the characters I make so they're honestly, my expressions aren't really that unique, just sort of like my poses. But I have improved on my poses because a little while ago, and maybe even while at the beginning of this channel, which this channel is still new, so I mean, not like I've been making videos on this channel for like years or anything. But I just draw a character standing there looking forward, and pretty much they would have the same pose, which I still do a lot now. I feel like I'm running into the same problem as I am with expressions. I'm, I'm sort of using, not even sort of, I'm actually using pretty much the same poses over and over again. My expressions, my poses, my hairstyles, pretty much, uh, to be honest, I pretty much draw the same thing over and over again. Studying anatomy and trying new things is definitely hard and scary and obviously out of my comfort zone and I just never do it. Those were my original plans for the making for this video and obviously they didn't happen and I just decided to do this challenge because I don't know, I kind of wanted to do this challenge and it's kind of weird how I wanted to do this challenge because I was sort of afraid to do this challenge because I was like, I honestly did not know how many yellow art supplies I had, but I definitely had more yellow art supplies than I thought I had, which is kind of funny because I thought I had a lot of art, yellow art supplies, but I ended up having more than I thought I would. I did have a lot of yellow colored pencils. I'm not really sure if this passed already, it probably has. When I first saw all of these yellow art supplies, the first thing that I thought of to draw was I wanted to draw sunflowers and that's because, you know, sunflowers are yellow and I kind of wanted to draw them because, I mean, they're yellow and so I thought maybe I'd draw a character and some sunflowers. Everything that I drew with sunflowers didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. I did sort of like the girl at the bottom where there's like two sunflowers behind her even though I feel like I did make the leaves too big. I did kind of like that idea, but then I drew this girl who had like feathers and the pose looked a little more dynamic. The pose seemed a less stiff than the girl who had two sunflowers by her, so I decided to just draw that one because I felt like it had a little more movement. Let me just move on to the um, actual drawings. I think a week or two ago I got a comment asking what I used to record my videos. I did write a long paragraph telling them what I used to make my videos. So I'm probably going to make that a bonus video and make that like a Wednesday video because I don't post on Wednesday so I might just upload that video on Wednesday that way because I don't really want to take up one of Monday's videos or one of Friday's videos just for this video. That way I'm not using that video to take up the space of like one of my art videos. I'll definitely update it in the future if things drastically change. Tell me in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing a video where I explain like what I use to record and how I edit my videos. So now I'm going to just move on to the actual drawing. I really like the concept of this drawing and I think it was a very cute sketch. But the thing that I don't like about my drawing because always there's always something I don't like about it. I did watch a video that made me kind of want to like stop being so negative about my art. 
I mean, probably in my videos I'm still going to talk about like a thing that I don't like about my art, but I'm not going to just, I'm going to try to focus on positive things as well. So as I was saying earlier, I do like the sketch of the drawing. The thing that I'm not really fond of in the drawing is I feel like that there's not as much contrast as I would have liked. Now since it's daylight, um, it doesn't look as bad as it did when it was like nighttime and it doesn't look as bad as it does on camera. I think on camera, the drawing looks more, like the colors look more cluttered together than they do in daylight, which I don't know if that makes sense. Um, the drawing definitely looks a little worse when you use lamps, and that's probably just because my lamps that I have, they're more, they're more on the warmer side, so that's probably why they look that way. In the future, I definitely need to get lights that are more in the middle, like that way they'll look closer to natural light that comes from the sun, so yeah, I felt like I shouldn't have added that sun part because that's obvious, natural light is from the sun. I do need to get some new lights, but uh, I have no idea when I'm going to get new lights because I feel like... I don't know. I think that's all I had to say about this drawing, I think. Mm, gosh, I wish I could think of other things to say about the drawing. I do think overall it was fun making this drawing. It did challenge me with like trying to figure out what colors to put together. Because I was going to at first to color the background of this character. I was going to use like a more orangey, like a more of a orangey yellowish color instead of a like lemon, a lemon yellow color, I color the background, but I realized that wasn't really a good idea to use a more orangey yellow because then it would definitely blend in with the hair. I decided to use just a lemon yellow because it contrasts more and I'm glad I did do that because if I didn't, then I probably would regret it and I wouldn't like the drawing as much, so I am happy I did do that. Even though I did use the orangish yellow color to shade, but it was sort of at a lighter, opacity I don't know if that's how you would say it I did do with the shading I did use that orangey yellow color to um, do the shading like underneath the hair I think that's all I have to say about this drawing I really don't have much to say I'm not really like drawing with waffles or some other youtuber I'm not really good at talking about my process with the drawing because I usually forget so yeah that's why I have to figure out other things to talk about because if I only talked about my drawing process this video would probably be about, the at least the voiceover would be about like three minutes and I'd be like, okay, bye guys, uh, enjoy a good seven minutes of um, music, which I don't want to do that. I do not like video, well, I don't really like videos that have just music in the background. Now, if the video's like 30 seconds or something and they just have background music, I mean, that makes sense, so I, I, I watch those. But if it's like a 10 minute video with no like audio and no one talking in the background, I usually don't like to watch those like speed paints and drawing videos because then, I don't know, I just like, I, I just like looking at a drawing and hearing someone talk in the background. I just like that more than just um, hearing music in the background. I really like videos like Drawing with Waffles where like they draw real time and like they talk about their thoughts as they're drawing. And I would do that if, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm extra awkward when I do real time. I like to do voiceovers more because when you do a voiceover, you can like edit it out, but when you like do real time, you yeah, yes, you can edit real time, but if you make a lot of mistakes during real time and you edit it out, you also lose part of the drawing process. So I feel like if I did a real time video, which I have done it in the past, but I feel like if I do real time videos, I'll be cutting out a lot of the video and the video will end up being like three minutes long. So yeah, that's why I really don't do those videos. And also because if I do try to do a real time video, I'll have to do it like late, like at like 11 or something because my siblings, like they cannot be quiet. I think that's all I have to say for this video. I hope this video wasn't really too all over the place. I was sort of getting distracted by the noises from downstairs. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this was the best idea to record at this time, but um, I did it anyway because I wanted to get this voiceover over with so that way I can edit it and get this video out for you guys. I did use all the art supplies that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. I did use all of them, even the erasers, and I am pretty proud of myself because it was sort of difficult in some areas. I definitely was struggling where to put um, the color pencil stuff because I, I just, I had way too many color pencils to use, so... 
This is actually one of my few mixed media drawings that I've done. I usually don't do drawings where I use color pencils, watercolors, and markers, and all this different art supplies together because that's sort of daunting to me. And um, yeah, but anyway, I really need to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys liked the drawing that I made, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.